So US warns its citizens in Russia to get out immediately over security fears. And the full list of Walmart store closings across the country in what is being labeled as a retail apocalypse, folks. This is gonna have a huge impact on your money, on your income, on your job, and where you buy your groceries and your pharmaceuticals, your medications, and basic necessities. Folks, this is alarming to say the least, and their plan has been exposed, and I don't think that they're really trying to cover it up or hide it anymore. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Help increase the reach so that more people can gain access to this important information, and most importantly, the truth. Folks, links in the description if you want opportunities on building wealth, starting side hustles, building passive income streams, and protecting your assets through diversified portfolio techniques that I myself use every single day. These are the warning signs and red flags of what is coming down the pipeline. And if you guys want to know what I'm planning to do now and continuing to do to position myself and my family to survive this mess, just stick around and pay close attention. Folks, I'm dropping nuggets on this one, guys, and you're not going to want to miss this. So Subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you haven't already. And I'm going to make this one quick and we're going to dive right into what's happening. Folks, and there may be a lot of data, stats, and other information crammed into this video. And if I move too quickly, I do apologize, but prepare yourself to take notes and you can always replay this video to drill down further on any of the information that you may miss as we go along. Now, so first, this is an urgent announcement for U.S. citizens traveling abroad in Russia. Now, I wanna share with you this recent update about the US warning citizens in Russia to get out immediately over security threats and concerns and fears. It says that the United States has told its citizens to leave Russia immediately due to the war in Ukraine and the risk of arbitrary arrest or harassment by the Russian law enforcement agencies. This is some serious stuff here, folks. It says that U.S. citizens residing or traveling in Russia should depart immediately. And this is according to the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. And what they said was exercise increased caution due to the risk of wrongful detentions. Do not travel to Russia, according to the U.S. Embassy. Just, just don't go reroute your vacation plans, which I don't know anybody who vacations in Russia. But anyway, the United States has reportedly warned its citizens to leave Russia. The last such public warning was in September after President Vladimir Putin ordered a partial mobilization. Now, according to the U.S. Embassy, Russian security services have arrested U.S. citizens on spurious charges, singled out U.S. citizens in Russia for detention and harassment, denied them fair and transparent treatment, and convicted them in secret trials or without presenting credible evidence. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there. Uh, meanwhile, Russian authorities arbitrarily enforce local laws against U.S. citizens, religious workers, and have opened questionable criminal investigations against U.S. citizens engaged in religious activity. Meanwhile, the most well-known and folks, you guys are aware, the most well-known American held in a Russian prison was basketball star Brittany Griner. She was returned to the United States in December in a prisoner exchange with Russian arms dealer Victor Bout, nearly 10 months after being arrested. I can only imagine spending 10 months in a Russian prison. Now, Griner's status as an openly gay black woman, her prominence in women's basketball, and her imprisonment in a country where authorities have been hostile to the LBGTQ community heightened concerns for her and brought tremendous attention to the case. And meanwhile, another American remains in jail in Russia as he was not part of December's prisoner exchange. Sucks for him. Now, Paul Whelan is a former U.S. Marine who was arrested on suspicion of spying in Moscow in 2018 and sentenced to 16 years in prison. So I, he's under slightly different terms as far as why he's being held and detained. Now, U.S. President Joe Biden has said his government will never give up on trying to secure Whelan's release. I hope that stands true. Meanwhile, folks, Walmart has shuttered its doors across the United States in what financial experts call a retail apocalypse, leaving customers without the retailer services in several cities. Now, according to Walmart CEO Doug McMillan, theft is an issue. It's higher than what it has been historically. And this is what he told CNBC in December. And if this issue isn't addressed, he says, prices will be higher and or stores will close. Now, McMillan has held true to his warning as we have seen stores closing left and right. And I have a list I wanna share with you. The stores that have already shut down had issues such as accidents and poor performance, which I think poor performance and underperforming are gonna be some terms that are gonna be tossed around here a lot more to justify why some of these stores are closing instead of saying the real reason why these stores are closing. Now, 
The list of store locations that have closed so far include Boston Post Road location in Guilford, Connecticut, Howell Mill Road location in Atlanta, Georgia, Raggard Road location in Louisville, Kentucky, Waterworks Shopping Center location in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Lincolnwood location in Chicago, Illinois, and Plainfield location in Chicago, Illinois. Now, also Walmart's San Mateo Boulevard Southeast location in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which like I told you guys was really close to the other Walmart that we visited while making a pit stop on our summer full-time van life road trip where we were in the middle of gunfire in the parking lot that one's on the list as well as homewood location in chicago illinois they are slated to close march 10th and the reasons for closing include the san mateo boulevard location will shutter following poor performance now this is the underperforming metric walmart has had record profits but i'm sure that they have some outliers of stores that don't do quite as well as others or potentially incur way more loss through theft than others. Ahmed Young, Walmart's Director of Public and Government and Corporate Affairs attributed Homewood's closure to the stores not meeting Walmart's financial expectations. So this is probably going to become more and more commonplace here moving forward. So folks, you may want to pay attention, especially if you're working at Walmart, your store could close and you could be out of a job. Now both Atlanta locations closed in late December because of fires and arson. Again, another growing problem that was actually tied to theft and a store on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Vine City was reportedly the first to be closed after a fire was started in the store on purpose. Meanwhile, another fire was set in the clothing section of a nearby Walmart on Howell Mill Road just days before on December 28th. Now, unfortunately, a variety of economic headwinds existed at both stores before they were closed due to arson and Walmart isn't the only retailer affected by this retail apocalypse. Back in May of 2022 when Walmart's quarterly profits fell 25% Missing Wall Street's expectations, Dennis Dick, a trader at Las Vegas-based Bright Trading LLC, told Reuters, this is a little bit of a retail apocalypse. It was Walmart and everybody thought it was a one-off, but now that Target missed earnings by a lot more than Walmart even did, they're scared that the consumer is not as strong as everybody thinks. Now, this is what Dick said. But with that being said, is Target next? And so the question remains, what am I going to do now and continue to do to position myself and my family to survive this economic cycle of high prices, inflation, jacked up interest rates going to the moon, underperforming stocks, and slowly recovering S&P 500, car market bubble pop, and potential housing market crash? Well, that's actually pretty simple. I'm going to continue to hammer down on our budget, and focus on tracking every dollar, spending less and saving more and finding more and more ways to earn a return through cash flow producing assets, investments, and continuously building businesses to align with the direction the market is going. And I'm pretty heavy in gold. Now, creating online businesses to sell not only tangible physical products, goods, and other commodities, but also to sell digital products and services with infinite profitability built into the design. And like I mentioned before, there are so many different business ideas, strategies, and techniques out there that can produce amazing revenue and income streams. And without ever touching a product or paying high interest rates on holding inventory in stock. Folks, not to mention avoiding the whole complexity of shipping and handling that we are seeing collapse right in front of our eyes with the recent news shared regarding FedEx, Ground, FedEx Freight, and Amazon, Prologis, and now UPS. Now, I have a long list of small business opportunities that can be started by almost anyone and require no skills or large upfront capital to get started. And these are great passive work from home income side hustle streams that require no skill and can see revenues of 700 plus dollars per day just starting out. Now, I'm talking about super simple starters that can become life changing for families life-changing money folks their income their savings account balances and investment portfolios like missing money rent your space stockski peer space the script etsy amazon fba alibaba dhgate print on demand and more and i'm also going to continue to support business and other businesses with b2b sales funnels because i truly believe businesses are going to be the most viable target markets to survive this recession that we are more than likely to have to live through for the next couple of years so if you want me to make more videos discussing these business ideas and opportunities just drop a comment down below and if there's enough interest i will go ahead and make those videos